Hello friends and welcome to November's TV Arcalada! <laughs> Hello friends, how are we doing? I'm not doing great. <laughs> Ready? I don't think this is a very good idea. Come on, it'll be alright. So, um, here's the thing. The amount of reading I have got to get done in November and December is giving me the fear. I'm not happy, I'm not in a good mood, I'm not feeling the vibes, I'm terrified of what is before me. <laughs> so I'm very nervous for this month's TBR Cluedo and how it's gonna go. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not feeling good about it, I'm not feeling happy, I'm feeling sad <laughs> and nervous. But it is time for November's TBR Cluedo. I'm hoping it will just support me in the reading I already have to get done versus making me read loads of books that I wasn't planning on reading and somehow have to put them into videos and just maybe I'll just quit and like remove myself from the internet I don't know but shall we just begin and go through November's TV Arcado and hope and pray that it is kind to me okay so slight change of scenery <laughs> usually I film this downstairs but we're having work done in the kitchen at the moment for like days and I have to film this now <laughs> so we're filming it on the bed I hope that's okay you can see you can see it fine. I think it's okay. It's not the ideal situation, but we're making it work. <laughs> okay, are we ready? We've got to find the green men, the two Berkeley men numbers. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I call them green men. I think I was thinking of <laughs> Toy Story. Okay, number one, which is green. Oh, that's good. I didn't tell you when we started. I need a lot of fantasy this month. I need a lot of mystery and thriller. I'm not interested in basically anything else. <laughs> Okay, so that's number one, which is green, which is perfect. Let's see how many we roll. We've got a six and a one. Let's go. I don't even know where we're going. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll go to that one. That is number eight, which is a 2023 release. So roll number one was a fantasy that is a 2023 release. And the book I'm going to be reading for this, I don't have my clammy paws on yet because I literally found out that I was going to be reading it last night. <laughs> But I am very excited to say I am going to be reading Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. I am so excited for this. This is one of the 2023 releases I have wanted to get around to the most. I have heard nothing but wonderful things about it. I'm going to be honest, I don't really know what it's about. Shall I look up the synopsis quickly? I should probably do that. That's probably the ethical and responsible <laughs> thing to do. The level of unprofessionalism far too much. But I have just seen everyone loving this. I, you know, and I love, I also love the UK cover. I know that's an unpopular opinion. I love the UK cover. I love it. I love it. What do you want me to say? So two young rival journalists find love through a magical connection. They must face the depths of hell in a war among gods to steal their fate forever. Oh, that's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. I am so excited. Enemies to lovers, fantasy novel filled with hope and heartbreak and the unparalleled power of love. Now that makes me a bit nervous because like why a romanticy isn't always my favorite thing if you're giving romance top billing in the synopsis that makes me nervous you know what i mean but i also think that is a marketing technique like i don't i'm not anti-romance but often i find that the romance is the least interesting part of a fantasy book a good day. So it does make me a little bit nervous, but I think I'm gonna love this. Everyone's loved it. Everyone's loved it. And I read A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross this year. Where is it? I read A River Enchanted and I didn't love the synopsis entirely or the plot or the some elements of the book I didn't love, but I did love the writing. There was something about this writing that I just absolutely adored. And so maybe this, I mean, I'm still gonna finish this trilogy hopefully, but maybe this incarnation of Rebecca Ross isn't my favorite, but if I love her writing, I feel like I'm pretty well set up for Divine Rivals. So I'm very excited. That is our first book of November's TBR Cluedo. Roll number two, person number four, which is pink up in horror. Okay, maybe we can make horror work. Maybe I'll allow one horror. <laughs> Let's see how many we are. Oh no, I rolled, I rolled the wrong ones. Where's the other square one? There, okay. Let's see how many we roll. We got a two and a three. I am just gonna go one, two. And that is number five, which is something with blue on the cover. Roll number two was a horror and that was something with blue on the cover. And for this, I'm going with My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. That's a lot of blue, guys. Come on, that's a lot of blue. No one can say I haven't done it. <laughs> I am so excited. I read Southern Book Club's Guide to Saying Vampires by Grady Hendrix earlier this year. It was a 4.5. I think this could be a five. I think this is tends to be people's favorite of his. And I'm really excited. It's set in the 80s, I believe. They're following two best friends and one of them. <laughs> 
<laughs> One of them gets like possessed by the devil. <laughs> Let's just say the devil made me do it. Grady Hendrix is my kind of horror. I'm a little bit of a wimp, I'm a little bit of a scared, scared girl, and I don't deal well with like really intense horror, or like, not that I don't deal well, I just don't tend to love it. Like it doesn't land for me. Whereas if you're gonna be camp, 80s, like really playing up on the vibes of the era, oh, I'm very excited. I think this could be a five star. I'm really, really excited to read this. Oh, there's some like mixed media as well. I just saw some letters and stuff, some writing. But yeah, I think I'm gonna love this, and I'm hoping for lots of cheesy, references to the 80s like music films like i want it all <laughs> i'm very excited so yes i'm gonna be reading this this week actually i'm very excited to get into it roll number three is it person number two which is purple where is purple in magical realism okay we're gonna try and get the wand that would be helpful we've got a one and a four can we get to there one two three four. Oh god perfect okay so we got the wand which is a book i need to read for a reading vlog which is saving my life. Thank you, TV Cluedo. <laughs> Role number three was The Wand, which is something that I need to read in a reading vlog. And for this, I am going with None of This Is True by Lisa Jewell, because I am going to start my reading for the Goodreads Mystery Thriller <laughs> Awards in November, and I'm 99.9999% sure that this will be nominated. I can't see a world in which this isn't nominated. I think this could even win. So I think it's a pretty safe bet putting it <laughs> on the TV. If it's not nominated, then forget I ever said this because I'm not <laughs> reading this if I don't have to. I mean like this, I've got so many books to read in the next couple months, I'm not reading anything I don't have to. I do want to read this, you know, if it's not nominated I'll read it one day, um, but it will be nominated. So they're following this podcaster who on her 45th birthday meets a woman who is her birthday twin. They like find out their birthday twins and they strike up this friendship and we're following the podcast, we're following their relationship, they're hiding secrets, there's weird backstory. I don't, I think this is the kind of plot you don't want to know too much going into it but everyone has been loving this. I feel like this is the biggest release that Lisa Jewell has had in a while and so I'm excited to read it and see what I think of it because I have read, I think I've only read one Lisa Jewell and that's The Stranger Upstairs. I read that like three years ago and I did enjoy it. I didn't love it but I did enjoy it. So if she can step it up this time, maybe me and Lisa Jewell will get along. I'm very excited. This is one of the ones that is going to be nominated for the awards. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm certain. There is nothing anybody can say to me that is going to induce me to change my mind. Are you neither. sure? Do I look as if I'm not sure? <laughs> that I am most excited to read. So very happy to get it on my TBR. Okay, roll number four. Person number one, again in fantasy, that's good. Let's see how many we roll. Got a three and a four. Okay, where do we wanna go? I am just gonna go one, two, three, four and get number two, which is a series I'm part way through. That is perfect. Thank you, TBR Pluto Gods. <laughs> Roll 4 was a fantasy that I am part way through the series and you guys are gonna be so happy when you see what I'm gonna be reading. <laughs> yes! 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 It's the Tea Dragon Tapestry. It's the final in the Tea Dragon series. <gasps> I don't even wanna look too hard, but like, let's just look. Oh. This is one of my favourite graphic novel series where we're following these people who live in this world. There's these magical tea dragons and there's all these magical beings. And I love this graphic novel series with my whole heart. And I'm I'm sad to be finishing it off, but I'm very excited to read this one finally as well. I've been like saving them. I didn't want to like, I could have read them all in one evening, you know what I mean? But I've been saving them for the right moment. And I think the right moment is now. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't be Don't fucking do rude. Are you kidding me? Get back on there, mister. Rude. I love the messages that these books teach and have. I think they're incredibly inclusive. They're incredibly heartwarming, cozy, comforting. If you're looking for more cozy fantasy as a graphic novel version, this is always my number one recommendation. So yes, I'm nervous to be finishing it off, but I am also very, very excited. Roll number five, it would be good to get some mystery or thriller. Person number seven, oh, which is brown and mystery. I summoned it. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Oh gosh, I knocked stuff over. We've got a four and a four. Okay, where can we go? I don't know. Let's go one, two, three, four. And get number 24, which is a book with over 400 pages. I think I can work with that. Like my least favorite prompt in the world, but I think I can work with that. 
Roll five was a mystery that is over 400 pages, and another one that I'm 99.999% sure is gonna be nominated for the Goodreads Mysteries Run Awards is The Last Devil to Die by Richard Osman. I'm gonna be reading it, you guys. I don't know how I've read this long. We're so sorry to be here, seriously, but I, this is the dream. Am I feeling nervous? Am I feeling sick to the pit of my stomach? Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm terrified to read this. Everyone who has read this has loved it. You guys have all been telling me how much you've been enjoying it. This is the fourth in the Thursday Matter Club series, which is one of my favourite series of all time. Uh, we're following these characters from this retirement village who solve murder mysteries. And I think I'm going to be crying the entirety of this one. I don't think I'm ready. I'm going to cry the whole time. The whole time the whole time. I'm not going to stop crying. I'm going to be crying continuously. <laughs> but you know, this is one of my favourite series ever. So I'm very excited to sink my teeth into this one. And just to prove that it meets the prompt, this is 430 pages. So it's over 400 pages, but I think I'll be able to read it in like an afternoon. Because that's, I just can't put these down. I love them, I love them, I love them. But I'm not ready for the emotional turmoil that I'm about to go through. And I know I'm about to go through it. I know, I know. Oh God, I want to cry. <laughs> Okay, final roll. Person number eight, which is blue over here in contemporary. Let's see how many we roll. We've got a four and a three. Can we get into romance? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is number seven, which is something with white on the cover. And then the final roll was a romance with white on the cover. And this is the one I gave to my patrons to vote on. They vote on one round of TV included every month. And then that picks our book club for the month as well. So that chooses what our book club pick is gonna be. And the options I gave them, I allowed myself, cause I don't have many romances. I allowed myself to put two romances on the poll that have been on TBR Cluedo this year before <laughs> that I was gonna have to read. Cause I needed them to fill out the options. Cause I only have like, eight romances on my TBR or something. So the options I gave them were White Out, which is by Donnell Clayton, Tiffany D. Jackson, Nick Stone, Andrew Thomas, Ashley Woodfolk, and Nicola Yoon. Spoiler Alert by Olivia Dade. Maybe in Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And Honey and Spice by Bolu Babalola. And with 50% of the vote, the clear winner was Honey and Spice by Bolu Babalola. If you ask me, Megan, where's the white there? That's why Reese's Book Club logo is white, it counts. It counts the whites of our eyes. <laughs> yes, it's mostly like red and orange and yellow, but there's white on the cover, okay? There's <laughs> it's a lot of fantasies. And when I feel the fantasy, it is my reality. It's white on the cover. <laughs> I'm not breaking the rules. <laughs> but yeah, so this had been on TBR Cluedo this year already, but usually I do not allow books to appear twice on TBR Cluedo. But um, since it was in the poll, I allowed it. I've heard so many good things about this romance. I think it's set at university. I feel like they meet at a radio station. I don't know. But um, I follow this author on Twitter and she's one of my favorite people to see street strong. So I feel like if I love her tweets already, I kind of already know I love her writing. Not sure if it works like that, but I kind of already know how they're writing. So I feel like we should be okay. And I'm excited to discuss with everyone with the Patreon book club. We always seem to have really good luck with the romances we pick up. Like we all loved Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. We recently read Emma by Jane Austen, which is kind of a romance. And we had pretty good feedback on that. So I feel like romances are always, we always pick well with the romances. So I'm excited to read this with all of them, discuss it. And yeah, this is one of the romances that I think is most likely to be a five star on my TBR. So excited to get into it. So there we have it. That is my November TBR for TBR Cluedo. I am so beyond excited to read all of these. I think this is a great TBR. Please let me know what you think of any of these if you've read them. I'd love to know which ones you've enjoyed and let me know what is on your November TBR. And I will see you guys soon in another video. Bye.